Good morning, good friends. This is Carlos, and it's Wednesday. I've parked my bike at Fairways, and I'm going to run a groundhog run. Exactly the same run that I did on Sunday. I'm not going to try and say exactly the same things. No, actually not. I'm going to try and think of something else to talk about other than exactly the same as I talked about last time. Let me just get my app set up. I'm planning to make a short video today as well, so stay tuned for that one. I've already done my homework on the video. Alright, I'm not running yet because I have a bit of traffic to pass. A road to cross safely. And then uh, I plan to take a short introductory video <coughs> to start the thing off just around here today I'm wearing my wrist mic keep my hands free for the camera hopefully there won't be too much clothing noise all right. Good morning. This is Carlos on the corner of Garnet and uh, there's fairways behind me. I'm going to be running around the golf course, Chip Trail, which starts way up there. So until then, bye-bye. So many things to think about. I've got one less thing to think about because, <clears throat> excuse me, I have the microphone on my wrist which is going to pick up everything that I'm doing until I switch it off when I get back. So all I have to do now is start my app and we're off to the races, so to speak. started. GPS on. Steady. 1 hour. 30 minutes. At 7 minutes. 30 seconds. Per kilometer. Go. Actually, I'm only going to be doing an hour today. That was my workout yesterday. But it worked well, so sometimes she's going to say halfway to my goal and I'm not going to be halfway to my goal. She will be reminding us of my progress every 10 minutes and I will be getting an update of my ahead or behind the pace every 3 minutes. I am risking not putting on my gloves because I don't think it's going to be that cold once I get into a, a groove with the running. I have to remember where the gaps in my slideshow are so I can slot 
in the video clips. But once again, there is a road crew up ahead checking on the wiring. This windstorm, this season of windstorms, has been quite distressing. Hello. Hey, but, yeah, yeah it you? must be the wind, eh? Oh, well. We well, have that is a new, new technology, I guess. New technology? No, that's ancient technology. Yeah, this cable? That's old, yeah. Oh, Are you just okay. checking it or what? So older than Carlos. Oh, you know me, eh? Yeah, I know oh, you. Yeah. Uh, I've seen you before, yeah. You're a runner. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Meeting after a couple of years or? Probably 10. <laughs> Maybe oh, longer. Wow. Anyway, back you, to work. Are you running? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look like it, does it? No, it doesn't. I didn't realize you had an English accent. Yeah. Yeah. I was born in London, but uh, okay. I've been here, as you know, about 20 years. Oh, yeah, you've been here. Huh? All right, I'm going to run the golf course. Okay. I retired. Take care. I, I should retire, too. Honestly. You should. You oh, should. somebody was just giving me shit for parking here and on and on and on. Shut up. The, the, the city can open the gates for me. <laughs> yeah, they can see you're working, one, man. Yeah. Six, what are you going to do? Behind. <laughs> Uh, All right. People, though, you know. What's your name, by the way? Ian. Ian. Carlos, you know me. Yeah. Or oh, the Jackal. My nickname is the Jackal. Is it? Yeah. Frederick Forsyth. That's right. Yeah. So it's Ian? Yeah. Ian Carlos. Carlos Ian. Hi. Take care. Bye-bye. Switching to accelerometer. GPS on. Well, that was unexpected. Ian. Yep. He's fixing the ancient technology. I didn't realize he worked, but I know he's a runner. I've seen him many, many years. Maybe he stopped running. I don't know. Having to play lane discipline with the cars here. When I was here on Sunday, I noticed that a Gary Oak had blown down. That's where I'm going to make my next little video insertion. This is the top of the hill. They might have taken the damaged tree away. Nope, it's still there. It's been cut up into large round chunks. A little too big for my fireplace. All right. Get the camera out. Well, if I hadn't stopped to talk to Ian, and if I hadn't stopped to take a picture of this fallen tree, it was a Gary Oak. But you can see how shallowly rooted it is. It's no wonder it blew over. All right, back to work.
camera away. The next section that I will film will be a few seconds at Cedar Hill Crossroad. And then it will be the golf course section. I plan to do the chip trail twice today. I heard Jim's latest podcast of his trip to Atlanta. It's a shame he lost all that recording. I'm sure it would have been quite entertaining. So the lights are red. By the time I get there, I might have a chance. Hello. To cross. Missed my turn. Anyway, I can cross now. Okay, so I'm running up. I think it's called Epsom Drive. Epsom Drive. Distance 1.09 kilometers. Workout average height 9 minutes 9 seconds per kilometer. I have to remember to talk. Hello. It's a nice looking boxer puppy. Tall boxer puppy. on to Queensbury. This is the corner 
of the golf cart ship trail. King's Pond is ahead of me. Oh, I remember Ian. One minute, 20 seconds behind. Ian is a guy I used to see all the time at Elk Lake. He would run with two dogs. But we didn't stop to talk because we were always running in opposite directions. Oh, looks like another mild feeding frenzy. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi dog. Hi. He had a large like a pit bull but he also had his earbuds in. I just wanted him to know where I was. Hi. I love this guy up ahead. I see him almost every time I come here. Hello. Good morning. Hi. I see you almost every time I come here. Well, yeah, I, I'm in the middle of Cedar Hill currently. <laughs> I, I do this every day. I go around three times. Three? Because I'm a ballroom dancer. Good for you. So it keeps me fit. I used to run it. But it's too hard to run it. And ballroom dance. Well, you walk pretty fast, you see. Well, some fun. people would say this was jogging pace. <laughs> well, yeah, I could actually pass some people that are really slow. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. And this one I get to say hi to everybody. Well, we, te we tend to go in opposite directions sometimes. Yeah, well, that's what you mean more often. Yeah. I'm doing two laps. Okay. Oh, so you're almost done. Bye-bye. What a room that's, eh? I have seen him before. There is some standing water today, but nothing like Sunday. I was wet within seconds. Seconds behind. All right. So, pretty soon I will start videoing again. I almost forgot my tasks. The second lap will be no more video. Hello. So this is the chip trail that I'm so fond of. And that over there is the Cedar Hill Golf Course. And this is where I start my hike again. So that man is a ballroom dancer. I have seen him before when I used to go to yoga. They had a studio rented right next to where we were trying to do our yoga and uh, their music was not terribly conducive for meditation.
Hi. Yeah. Hi. I guess because this will be a pretty long audio recording, I can always search out the quiet sections in the interest of keeping it to around the standard 45 minute. Hi. 49 seconds behind. 49 behind. I should be back on pace by the time I stop my second loop. Hi. Hi. Yep, it's just cold enough so that wearing gloves would be helpful, but if I'm fiddling with my camera, I need my fingers free. I, although I can operate it with gloved hands. I, the first little bit of downhill since James Heights. Hello. I'm getting kind of excited about my trip to Spain. A friend of mine from Daily Mile wants to come with me, so I've sent him my itinerary. So he wants to uh, share some Distance. time. Point. 62 kilometers. In per Spain. Average pace, 7 minutes. 38 seconds per kilometer. Yeah. So, 8 seconds behind my pace. That's good. Yep, he wants to run with me in Spain. Hi. Last time with the camera, I'm at the Million Dollar View. I don't think I've ever done a video going down here, but there is a blue heron that's just flown across the golf course. And the water feature. 34 seconds behind. The water feature of the, of the hole. Oh, this is quite steep as you can see going down. There's a whole swarm of ducks, I believe, from the geese as well, taking advantage of the slightly warmer air temperature will bring the worms to the surface. This is not a very good camera angle. There is that big bird I was telling you about. The blue heron. He is el presidente of this little flock of birds.
There he is. He is stalking the reeds and the ducks are moving out of his way. So this is the running jackal signing off. That's a nice picture. Signing off from my video today. All right, so the camera goes away. Probably have the amount of footage that I need to fill the gaps in my template. I, I have even selected the music. Yeah, well, I'm still waiting to hear from my friend. He lives in Toronto. And I just mentioned casually that I would be spending the night in his fair city on the 20... No, the 17th and 18th. I leave Toronto on the 18th, having arrived the afternoon before from Victoria. So, I was just planning to have a meal and a beer maybe with him. And uh, in casual conversation via the Daily Mile message service, I uh, One said, do you want to come? Eight seconds behind. And he said, sure. So we'll see. It might not be logistically very easy for him. I, my suggestion was that he should either meet up with me in London, where I plan to spend a few days visiting my brothers and anybody else that I can fit in around my not too busy schedule. I want to go and see the bank in London. I have some money that's frozen in an account there. Hello. Thank you. I've got a slightly different microphone angle today. It's pointing across my wrist bone. Hopefully not being swung directly into the wind. this rate, I will be quite aware of my position in my tape, not my tape, in my recording. Hello. Balker Creek. And the back of the rec center. And then I have a big climb. Hello. Hi. I might actually see 31 seconds behind. Ian, 
sta game this is where I will lose some of those seconds the other thing I have to be conscious of is not dropping my hands down and swinging military style as I march up this hill because that would be swiping the mic through the greatest arc at the highest possible speed. Not a good idea. Hello. Hi, hi. That's plenty of room. We're all moving pretty slow at this stage. Oh, a steep hill. I always walk this. I used to run up it. Oh, no. Not anymore. I'm saving my my million and a half heartbeats. I saved a few anyway. Every time I come here, I'm thinking heart smart. Unless I'm racing, I don't need to keep stressing I, my heart, do I? So there is the ice cream house. I tried to get a view of the Cedar Hill chip trail from the uh, street view on the map, but this part is far enough away from the road, so you wouldn't get a view. And the Google car does not go everywhere. Alright, the last hike until I start my next loop. I've got about two kilometers more, maybe a little less, maybe one and a half to finish this loop. And by the time I get to my next run section, it'll be flat or down the rest of the way. I also caught up with Steve Hellstones. Behind. Distance. Three point eighty seven kilometers. Hailstones. Workout average pace. Seven minutes. Forty five seconds per kilometer. So fifteen seconds behind on three. So that's five seconds. Seven thirty five pace. So I've been recording for about Two minutes. Yep. That's the other nice thing about doing this exact same route again. I really didn't need to start my GPS. I guess it's force of habit and also it gives me something to commentate about if I run out of things to say. Yeah, that guy Ian, the guy who works for Central Telecom is a very good runner, but he very seldom, if ever, races. So I was curious if he was still running. I might get a chance to ask him. So there will be music 
with the video. Hi. But there will not be music with the, this podcast. This will be possibly edited for, for brevity, but not for content. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I'm wearing my Haney to Harrison. 100 kilometer souvenir jacket. So half a minute behind. So I've managed to make up a minute and a half since I stopped filming. You notice I said taping earlier on. That kind of dates me. There's that tall boxer puppy again. Just coming around the top corner. The Queensberry corner again. About to start lap two. Just as predicted, I'm now three seconds ahead. It's always around this stage that I really hope that it's recording. Not on tape, I hasten to add. I have Sony 
in my pocket and the cable running up my sleeve to my watch. That's King's Pond again. I'm going to walk this because there are very, very many ducks here and a small child. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Ducks. Yeah, you like the ducks? Yeah. Look at all the ducks up behind you. Yeah. Hundreds of them. Yeah. Anyway, I, normally I run through here, they don't get startled, but with the little kid, I thought if I run through, they may all start flying and they then yeah. they'll knock him over. Could do, yeah. Little <laughs> boy? Is this yeah. a little boy or a little girl? Yeah. 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 Just a year and a half. Yeah. Who's yeah. that? Another doggy. Oh, Dog. that's Dog. right. Dog, yeah. I better get going. Bye bye, little boy. Bye. Bye bye. Hello. So that was probably his grandfather. Got behind again, talking to people. You see, with the auto pause, the clock would have stopped. I, so today, without the auto pause, every time I stop to take a video or talk to a friend, the clock is still ticking. Morning. There's a bit of Cantonese for you. The other thing about my friend coming to stay with me in Valencia is that I will Distance. have five point thirty three kilometers. Workout average pace seven minutes thirty seconds per kilometer. So that will transpire that I've been recording for about 36 minutes. So I've got 12 more minutes. Yep, I shall run back to where the trail meets with the road to the golf club clubhouse. That'll probably give me 12 minutes. I don't want to make the shows too long, otherwise they get postponed. The playing of the shows get postponed. For all you busy, busy people out there. But I have been checking my stats and not enough of you are using the spree, not the spreaker, the stitcher link. Stitcher is like iTunes for people who don't have iTunes. You can stream when you're at home and you can also download any shows to listen to when you're on the road, so to speak away from Wi-Fi. So I know if I have one of Norman's shows, I can download it and then listen to it when I'm out running instead of thinking, well, I better hear this before I go out. 27 seconds behind. 
All right, that's the last little hike for a while. But I think using perceived heart exertion as my cutoff for hiking, I have got a pretty good system worked out now. For instance, if I'm doing, excuse me, a Mount Doug summit run, I will do that typically at a eight and a half minute pace because at least one third of the run is a hike. If I'm doing this kind of run, seven and a half minute pace is doable because the hikes are all blissfully short and they don't amount to more than possibly uh, five minutes out of the hour that I would spend hiking on this trail hiking or stopped talking to people I can still do seven and a half so really and truly my heart is working pretty much at a constant load I can predict. Hi. That's the second time I've seen her cheerful face. And the second time I have come up on this family. This was the family that I saw pushing the stroller up the hill. The father was going pushing. They took the derby exit and came across the golf course. Hello again. Hi. Hello again. Hello. See all these people. Oh, there's the guy with the collar right around. Eight seconds. Okay. Ahead. Halfway to your goal. So. I've been running for 45 minutes. I actually no. That was a guy who looked like the Colorado Rockies guy. But in fact, he was wearing a Canucks hat. Hi. Come on, Joe. A little bit of a dog party going on there. Yeah, well, hopefully the new position of the mic in that little pocket on the top of your wrist, on the thumb, behind the thumb, that is where the microphone is clipped to my watch strap. I, I have noticed with this microphone that it is a little tinier. It has, it favors the higher register which is good for speech, but not so good for clothing noises and zip noises and electronic clicks and pops. I took the precaution of locking my device today. All right. 
Hello. So in real time, I have been running and recording for 48 minutes, round about now. But what I will do is I will continue to record until I get off the golf course. And then I will arbitrarily edit chunks out to get the required length of show. As I always say, easy come, easy go. It's not all gold. Some of it is fool's gold. Hi. That's the second time I've seen that group. I think I saw them last week or the week before. There's the Coast Guard chopper. Maybe they're following me. Helicopters are noisy because they have such massive engines to power the rotor. I, on a fixed wing plane, once they get up to speed, the majority of the force for lift is generated by the wings. Hi. The guy had that was all in closing headphones. And he was saying things like interval ten it sounded like. Maybe he was recording. woman will probably catch up with me when I start hiking. I have to do my edits almost immediately I get home while it's still fresh in my mind. Okay, this is where I hike. And she's still running. Yeah. 
out. She obviously has a stronger heart than me. She is forcing her heart to work hard up the hill. She's walking now. She was so close to the top. And now she's gonna get me go by her again when I start running. That was another little hike section a little further up. But she might catch up with me again. Hi. Maybe she's doing a Galloway 3-1 kind of routine. She was wearing the hood of her very nice running jacket up over her ears, so I wasn't sure if she was wearing earbuds as well. I suspect she probably was. She had a nice looking... One minute, 13 seconds ahead. That's my cue to walk. I got, excuse me, 200 meters of climbing, 200 meters longitudinally of climbing about 20 meters. So it's like a one in 10, I guess. You know how good my math is. I hear her running again. I'm gonna go to the post and then I start running again. coming down this way pretty fast. We used to know all the fast runners. This girl, oh yeah, it's the same woman. This is the third time I've seen her. Hi. Well, the other girl, the girl with the black lab, she got to the post just as I arrived. So I started running a fraction of a second ahead of her so as not to spook her unduly by coming up from behind her. It's a little bit more Cantonese for you. Yeah, I think I've seen everybody here twice now. The walkers that are going my way I'm now lapping. Hi. And One the minute, ten seconds ahead. The runners 
coming towards me. I've seen them three times. This guy twice. I so so as not to uh, make it too much of a groundhog episode. I will take my break from you around about here at seven ish kilometers. Be nice to get one more reminder of my pace. The 50 minute pace will come up quite soon, I think. Unless that was it. Alright. So one last video clip. And then it's run, 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 all the way back, all the way back, I will be running probably without a stop unless I stop for the road, of which I cannot predict at this time. So. This is the running jackal finishing off his 10 kilometer groundhog run. Bye bye. Put that away. Grab the Sony Yeah, I've got 103 recorded I can afford to cut out some quiet sections 48 seconds ahead Distance 8.09 kilometers Workout average pace 7 minutes 24 seconds per kilometer there you go.